The final season of Game of Thrones is set for 2019, but what comes after? Well, Game of Thrones fans have several things to be looking forward to. A spin-off focusing on the Age of Heroes is already scheduled, and more additional spin-offs have been announced as well. When and where exactly these shows will air on the small screens has not been revealed yet. Fans of high-quality fantasy entertainment can stay positive though, since a new TV heavyweight might turn out to be a worthy competitor for Game of Thrones. After all, The Lord of the Rings will return to television with an Amazon Amazon Prime original TV series. We will now tell you everything you need to know about this upcoming project. But be aware, this video does contain spoilers for both The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit series. You have been warned. Let them come. The most expensive show ever. That is what they call the upcoming Amazon original Lord of the Rings show. After all, the show is said to have the incredible budget of 1 billion dollars. However, that number should be taken with a grain of salt, since Amazon has only paid 250 million dollars yet in order to purchase the Lord of the Rings property from the Tolkien estate. The Tolkien estate are the descendants of J.R.R. Tolkien and therefore have been the legal custodians of his intellectual intellectual properties. Now they have been approached by Amazon and received 250 million dollars to hand over the rights. According to Amazon, the contract demands that the show needs to go into production within the next two years. This is why we could expect the first season of the new Lord of the Rings show already in 2021. If we're lucky, maybe even a year earlier. But how did we arrive at the massive number of 1 billion dollars? Well, the contract apparently includes a clause that demands a runtime of at least 5 seasons. This means that the estimated cost per season is approximately between 100 and 150 million dollars. To put that in context, let us take a closer look at current TV giant Game of Thrones. That show's budget increased both per episode and per season. The bigger and more ambitious the battle sequences were, the more expensive the show became. Season 1, for example, had an estimated budget of $60 million, with $6 million per episode in mind. Season 2 upped the ante with episode Blackwater alone, which cost around $8 million. The work and effort put into Game of Thrones grew exponentially, which is why season 6 devoured a budget of 100 million dollars. The upcoming season will consist of only 6 episodes, but every single one of them has a budget of 15 million dollars. We have gold, lots of gold! I'm prepared to give you lots of gold! This is why Amazon's Lord of the Rings won't have a problem hitting the billion dollar mark with its production costs. After all, we expect a lot from a show that takes on both the legacy of the iconic talking novels and Peter Jackson's epic trilogy. The latter's involvement with the show still remains to be confirmed. According to unspecified sources, Amazon has been in talks with Jackson, but what exactly that means for the show is yet to be revealed. It is very possible that he will simply act as a consultant for the show. But now let's focus more on the show itself. Amazon does not intend to simply go for a remake of The Lord of the Rings. They are much more interested in telling the unexplored stories among among Tolkien's work. Beloved fan favorite characters are however set to appear as well. Rather than creating another run of the mill Lord of the Rings remake, the show is set to focus on the story that unfolded before the Fellowship of the Rings. Two important works could act as source material for the show. The first thing that comes to mind are the attachments of the Lord of the Rings books themselves. The second one is the so called Silmarillion, which features a collection of tales and legends that all take place in Middle Earth. According to reliable source, the first season will be focusing on a young Aragorn. This leads fans to believe that the show will be an anthology series that will tell a new story with each season. With the young Aragorn at hand, Amazon could hit two birds with one stone feature a fan favorite character while simultaneously telling a new exciting story. We could see the story unfold of how Aragorn and his mother first traveled to Rivendell. Elrond assumed responsibility for the young boy who then is also first introduced to his future wife Arwen. The show could focus on this romantic bond and at the same time feature multiple adventures of Isildur's heir who tries to beat back the armies of Sauron. During his travels he also encounters Gandalf and should the first season 
stand on its own, it could end with the first encounter between Aragorn and the Hobbits in Bree. Aside from the story of Aragorn and Arwen, the show could also throw a Game of Thrones-like element at us. The attachments A and B of Tolkien's Lord of the Rings alone offer enough material to achieve this goal. An example would be the story of the Kings of Gondor. This would be a great chance to push some big names like Elandils and Isildur in the spotlight and give them their own stories. The both of them only appeared briefly in Peter Jackson's trilogy. Elandil and the elf king Gil-galad fought side by side during the last alliance between elves and men when they confronted Sauron's armies. But how did Sauron rise to power to begin with? How did he become the great menace to Middle-earth? How did men and elves become allies? How did the One Ring affect Isildur once he took it from Sauron? All these questions could be answered and explored in the show, thus giving us a great overview of the Second Age. The Second Age is also when the story of Celebrimbor unfolded. This tale focuses on the ruler and master blacksmith Celebrimbor who forged the Rings of Power. This arc would be particularly interesting for the television series. After all, it deals with Sauron who disguises himself as the handsome Anatar in order to gain the trust of the elves and to get his hands on the rings. They forged the rings of power which Sauron later gave to the dwarves and men. Celebrimbor secretly forged three rings of power upon seeing through Sauron's facade. It was around that time that Sauron forged the One Ring. This set the war between the elves and Sauron into motion. The game's Middle-earth Shadow of Mordor and its sequel introduced Celebrimbor to a wider audience. The show could draw from that and portray him even more accurately, thus giving the viewers another interesting aspect of the Lord of the Rings saga. Even the story of the dwarves, which was heavily focused on in the Hobbit films, could be further expanded. Durin's people deserves at least a mention in the show and should not be left out completely. What was Moria like before it fell? How were the dwarves driven out? What happened to the dwarves who got their hands on Sauron's rings of power? So as you can see, there is multiple stuff that the show could potentially draw inspiration from without simply copying Peter Jackson's masterpiece. Similar to Game of Thrones, multiple kingdoms play equally important roles. Men, elves, dwarves and the sinister Sauron. In addition to that, individual tales of characters like Aragorn, Celebrimbor or numerous others who have not been mentioned in this video could be told as well. Which stories would you like to see? Will you be watching the new show? And which Lord of the Rings movie do you like the most? Let us know in the comments section below. And for more original content, check out these videos.